Hello and welcome everybody to Crypto Is It. My name is Savage and today we're going to be looking at Fetch.ai. Before we jump into the TA, I'd just like to say thank you for watching the video. If you're enjoying the content, please smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, you may as well subscribe. That way you can keep up to date with all the latest TA um, for altcoins, BTC, ETH. We also take requests, so just drop it in the comment section down below. Okay, so let's get into it. What we can do here, because we don't have a lot of historical data within this, we can either look at this as a... Um, as a completion into this low or potentially that we're looking to um continue within this so there is still potential because we don't know exactly the structure on here we could still have something like a triangle playing out here where we have a um a bigger structure that uh would be something like this effectively from this low point probably up into there so it is still possible we could have some kind of a structure like this where we are forming a um a triangle or something we don't have enough data to um, say otherwise but what we can also look at within this is if we just take this as a low point what we would then be looking for is the potential to move to the upside so if we we're looking at um, this move with it, these moves within here we can count these as a diagonal within here where this is a one two three four and a five contracting waves um, and sort of contracting trend lines within this so it does meet the criteria um, it is possible that we could actually have this played out here. So we have this as an A wave or either a um, an A or a 1. So the thing is with this, effectively what we wouldn't want to do to to make sure that we continue to see this as um, looking for upside potential as an A, a B and a C, then we would want to stay above this point here of this 0 0.074. Failing to do so would actually make me have to then say that this was a connector wave here and that we're actually looking for this as a another wave to the downside though we don't have that information at the moment so we've got to just give it a bit of time to play out so this is an interesting one within here what we've got is this move to the downside we can count in two ways so i'm being a bit cautious about it currently technically we can just count this as an abc and it's completed into this low point here we can count it into here i don't really like the structure of doing that though um unless you were looking at this is a very complex move in here i am still cautious of this move to the upside because to me it's looking more it, it still looks better to count it in this way so this could actually be forming a b wave to the upside so typical place for rejection with this would be this 2817 that would be a 50 percent retracement of this whole move to the downside so if we do actually move up into this area it is possible we could actually find rejection and look to make a new low here it is also possible, like I said, we can move this C wave over slightly and we can look at this um, this wave to the upside in this by itself. So we're going to look at both options. But if we do actually encounter rejection here, this could actually mean that we're going to come back down here and actually break this 5308 range. So within this move, if I take it from this high point into this low point over here, actually. Moving up to this 50% would then actually push us down towards this um, 168 three zone and if i throw this uh throw this support area on this is a support area based off of this um, move to the upside so this is just common fib retracement levels and we can see that basically that that one to one would actually take us right here onto this um onto this 854 uh range and then we do have some other areas here this uh 786 would be this 2109 uh, 702 would be this one and then the 0 0.618 we've actually touched onto already so it is possible that we actually have completed this as an a or b and we're actually looking to push to the upside for that c wave but there's not enough information yet what we'd want to see is we'd want to see a five wave move play archer finding that support and then looking to break to the upside so what they would look at look like would be something like this we can look at this as a one two three four five then we'd want to find a retracement, come back down, test some of these zones, and then look for that progression to the upside. Until we actually get the support and it comes in, we need to just be careful that it's not part of this as a as a flat correction, an expanding flat correction. It would have gone quite high as an expanding flat, but this can happen sometimes, especially in these um smaller coins, which are a bit more volatile. So it is possible that we could see something like this play out. So just got to give it a bit of time and see what happens. So basically within this what we can be looking at um is like i said we could potentially be into this b wave here um and we could potentially have even completed i would have expected to come a little bit higher we're currently sitting on the bottom of this um 
this zone which we lost so it's possible that we could see this start to move away so if we're going to look at this move to the upside now i'm going to actually just turn all of these off for a second what we would have to look at is um if i come in here let's make this a bit bigger there so within this structure here the um the internal waves are not not great at the moment so either we've still got some extension within this or we can or we're gonna have to count this as a fourth wave extending where this is a one two this is the third wave a fourth and then actually what we're getting is an extension within this fifth wave so if this is the case what we'd be looking for potentially if i come up into this high point here we've actually already moved past this one to one so it's possible that we um that either we have this as a different shape and this is a one two and then within this move here we have a four the problem is this wave two is quite big and there's nothing in here that matches it so this matches this a lot more than anything else but it is possible we could have this as a one two one two and then we have some further continuation but what i'd want to see for for um confirmation of this would be actually be to move above this 1.618 at this 3043 and I'm just going to mark that up now because for as long as we haven't crossed this it is possible that this could actually just break down and we have to be careful um, particularly within this move here I don't like uh, the overlap that it gets towards the end here you can count this as a triangle where this is an A, B, C so this would be an A, a B, C, D and an E it would be very small towards the end here but it is still possible so we just have to be careful of that fact it is also possible that we have just further extension within here and this hasn't finished yet so what i'm looking for is a move past this uh 30 30 cent 6, 36 if we do move past that then what we would have to do is we'd effectively have to count this as a one two up into this zone as a three we'd be looking for a four and a five so that would be what we'd be looking for if we managed to move up past this zone. But for as long as we don't, we need to just be careful that we don't break down. And like I said, we can potentially try to count this as a 1, 2, 3, 4, an extension within the fifth, where this is a 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5. Technically, it could be completed. So if we get a much deeper pullback here, it's possible that we do have that scenario where, like I said, we have this as a 1, a 2, 3, Four, and then we have this as an extension within the fifth wave so this is one possibility that can play out if we do have this situation what we'd be looking for for confirmation of this is um basically to actually start to break down deeper and the zone we'd be looking for to find support for this would actually be in this um in this area of this 50 percent to this 786 so if we do actually start to break down within this structure what we'd be looking for is this support zone to see if we actually have um, a bigger move playing out here or where potentially we actually just start to break down and then we just have to look at this as an ABC and then we actually break down past this low. The second we lose this low point of this 52, uh, 0 0.0529 then effectively we actually lose the structure that we are currently following within this. Within this move like I said it it does look like it should be completed there is potential we could have a fourth nestled in here that still has to play out which could take us past this 30 cent 36 if that's the case then what we would be looking for is potentially that this would be a one two up into this high point here for three four and a five so we st would still be looking for this potential of this fourth wave um, the zone we would be looking for for that would be between this 382 and this 0 0.5 range so what well, it would actually be all the way up to this 236 with the strength of this um with the strength of this uh, third wave here it is possible that it doesn't come down as deep here and it could actually look to only target up the upper range of this um this 236 line at this 20 cents 60 we'll have to see how it how it plays out however if we do pull down to the 382 it could bring us in line with the structure here and then we'd be looking for that push to the upside if we just actually stay at this 236 what this would do is i'll if i pull this down into this zone this would then make our target area for this fifth wave up here into this 0399 to this 02814 so this would be the zone we'd be looking for to target with that fifth wave if we do push up from this area and what they would be looking to do the the thing is the structure in here is indicating to me that we're going to be having a bit more downside here because it's very corrective and in, in it's in the way it's moving 
unless we actually break back above this high point, I would be expecting this to break down um, and push deeper down into this zone that we talked about. And then yeah, from there we'd be looking to whether we actually move back to the upside. If we start if we start to um, break down from here, like I said, then this um this zone here of this green box, this eleven eighty six to this zero seven four five would be my next target within this, and we'd be looking at that potentially then um, as a one two three four and a five into this high point and looking for that B wave retracement before looking to progress back to the upside. If we do continue from here, we would have to assume that there's some extension within these waves that isn't accounted for. I want to, yeah, like I said, there's possibility we've got an additional one here. If we look at this as a two into there and then, um, yeah. So that would kind of make sense because this is sort of similar in structure at the moment anyway, that uh, we could actually look for this fifth wave to the upside. So if this fifth wave crosses this zero three, Three six, then I'd be looking for this additional um, this additional fourth wave to the downside from that point, and then we'd be looking at a bigger structure here, in my opinion. Okay, so I'm going to leave the video there. We'll keep you up to date as the moves happen, and we'll see you in the next one. I hope everyone has a great rest of the day. And yeah, in the description below, why not have a look? There's a there's a link to the Discord. Why not come join us there? It's free to join. Once you um. Once you're in the general chat here, just mention a member of staff will be happy to help you out with anything you may need. So yeah, we're going to leave it there. Hope everyone enjoyed the video. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications and we'll see you in the next one. Take care everyone.